concealed carrying a firearm is not as simple as slipping on your faithful inside the waistband holster like it is for guys. There are plenty of holster options out there for us, but they typically require a compromise between comfort, function, and style. But do we have to make that compromise? Despite popular belief, purse carry is actually a great option. You always have it with you, and you trust it to transport your money, IDs, phones, and other essentials. So let's take an honest look at what it takes to off-body carry in your purse. Drawing from a purse is a different process and requires practice. Having a purse that is designed to carry a handgun, like this Iris purse from Chameleon Bags, is ideal. These usually have a dedicated pocket to holster and secure a handgun. You need to be able to grip your gun and draw it without anything getting in the way or getting stuck in the trigger, potentially causing an accidental discharge. The first step is to unzip the pocket where the firearm is holstered. I also want to point out that any holster zippers should be located against your body. You'll want to have this completely unzipped, not partially, to avoid any chance of snagging when you draw. A big factor in this is placing the holster at an angle that's comfortable for you and allows the gun to easily clear the pocket. If the pocket is accessed with both top and side zippers, you'll need to determine which is more comfortable and natural for you prior to positioning the holster in place. After you've unzipped your purse, you want to reach in with your hand and get a solid grip on the firearm. If you're in a situation or area where you're uncomfortable, for example, by yourself on a parking lot at night, it's not a bad idea to already go through these first two steps, unzipping and gripping, so you can react quickly if a situation occurs. After you have your grip, you want to pivot the gun to point in the direction of the approaching threat. Then you want to draw. Now, this is where you really need to plan around your particular purse and practice accordingly. Are you going to let the purse fall away during the draw? Are you drawing in an upward, outward, or backward motion? This all depends on factors like your physical size, the size of the purse, and the length of the straps. You'll have to work with your purse to determine what works best for you. And once your firearm is drawn and clear of the purse, you want to extend your arms, get your sight picture, and fire. Practicing with your purse is absolutely critical in being able to draw quickly and effectively should the need ever arise. Using dry fire to practice is recommended, as this gives you the hands-on repetition with your actual firearm and purse. And as always, with any dry fire practice, you should have an unloaded gun with no round in the chamber and no ammunition in the room with you. In this series, we'll demonstrate realistic scenarios where you will need to pull your firearm quickly and how purse carry can be used in those situations. We'll also touch on the legal concepts you need to consider in each of these situations. It's very important that you understand the laws regarding the carrying of firearms and any permits or licenses you need to do so. If you have any questions about the laws in your state regarding carrying off body or anything else related to firearms or self-defense, give US Law Shield a call and ask to speak to your independent program attorney. And remember, always be safe and in style. Stay tuned for future episodes where we'll show you how to utilize purse carry in real world scenarios. In the meantime, Head to the URL below to get $100 in free gifts from US Law Shield.